This podcast is brought to you by Marlins Media Services, LLC. Marlins Media Services enhances your event or product with tailored event and entertainment solutions that resonate with your message and vision, specializing in audio production and DJ services. If you want to get in contact with us, just email Marlins Media Services at gmail.com. Let's get started with the show. I was still promoting it just generally, and I got a message from this person, and next thing you know, I log on Facebook one day, and it's people that I ain't talked to in years, like, yo, Phil, this album dope, bro. Like, is this you? Like, <laughs> Is this know. you? That's my favorite it's question ever. Favorite, is like, this you? <laughs> Who else <laughs> is it? Like... <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to another episode of the Marlin Meets Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I got somebody special here today. Yeah. Uh, he's a mentor to me, man. He mentor? is. What were you talking about? Wait, hold on, man. Hold on. He's, he's a mentor to me when it comes to his music thing and to this life thing, man. He's a big brother to me. He is father. He is a husband. He is a lyrical assassin. Hey. Let me tell you something. He is a creative mind. He just released an album uh, called Like Father, Like Son. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up right now for my brethren, Philip Jenkins, a.k.a. Patch. Feeling I'm out of town, feeling I'm out of space Out of my mind, hard to follow the line I'm not seeing the signs, baby I'm dreaming Maybe I'm thinking too much, maybe I'm losing the love Maybe it's like, I don't know what I'm saying Nigga, I'm lost enough, I Shout out to my government name all on the world Yeah, you, yeah you, you, you know, hey, I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Get, be mad at your parents. They named you it. They named right. you. <laughs> Marlon. Man, yo, how you doing, brother? What's good, bro? This is my brother, man. We it's so hard being a pause. No diddy. It's it's crazy being away from my brother. <laughs> and uh yeah, man. We we made a whole lot of magic happen, no diddy, when we was in the studio. So it's we never Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure I'm gonna do that a couple times. We're not gonna know Diddy this whole we go no the whole time. Um, we yeah. actually never had the chance to properly celebrate getting the album done, bro. You know what? You were right. You were you know, right. We were always celebrate a uh, you know a milestone. We never got a chance to celebrate. You are right. You are right, man. I did call you, but we didn't get to uh, sit down and just do. have a conversation about like it. we normally do. Yeah. Let me ask you this. We was just talking about this on the phone. Last time I had you on the podcast, you was not married. I you, wasn't. You were uh, minus two kids. How many kids you got now? Four. We got four kids. Huh? Brother, tell me tell me this. How is it, first of all, with the new mayor, like, congratulations, I DJed the, the wedding. It, it was lit. It lit AF. Excuse me. Lit AF. Look that up on Urban Dictionary, people. It was lit, but... Look, you're married now. You you're a father of four. Tell me, how do you manage all this time to to be that? And and you're an agronomist, and am I saying it right? That, that, that's time? really good, bro. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. I've been people miss that word so bad. <laughs> she is agronomist, full time agronomist. How do you manage all this time to do all of that and still? Uh, be creative, get in the studio, doing collaborations, doing a whole album. How is that possible? I, I tell people all the time, because I get asked that a lot, mm -hmm. and it's like, there is no balance. You just, I mean, you, of course you plan, but you have to be just efficient with the time that you have, right? So it's not that I put this first and this first and this second. There is no order because if my wife is sick, she takes an importance over my job. There you go. My okay. kids are sick, then they take in more importance than my wife at the moment. Mm -hmm. My job is on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I need to make sure, you know what I'm saying? It's an ever-revolving circle. I just keep my life God-centered, and I let everything else rotate around that, bro. And like I just, so there are some days where I can go three or four days, bro, and I'm not playing my guitar or write a song. But wow. that one day that I get to do that, yes. if my 
kids or with my parents. Yes. Wife is working. Yes. You best believe in that eight hour span where I'm by myself. I'm doing like five, six songs. You ask people that question, they'd be like, oh, well, this is what you got to do. This is the formula. But, but that is a them. good answer. I was reading a book and uh, I think it was Deion Sanders book. And he, he said something along, along the lines of be where your feet are. Just always be where you are. Be present in the moment. In the you're moment. At home, yeah. Be at home. If you don't work, be at work. So that, man, that's. You helped me get through the process because I remember, remember I used to get mad because I'm like, I want to record. I want to do this. I want to do that. And it's yes. just like those experiences are what make the album so good. So I started relaxing mm -hmm. and the life that I lived from those moments until it got finished is what I wrote about. So it was like, live your life. And when God give you that moment, the right, go. it's going it's gonna go. All right, we gotta move on because we can stay all day on that one. We can stay on that one topic, big, big, for real. man. That's good. All right, let me let me ask you this. What's up? You are a son of a, of a minister, preacher. Son of a preacher, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, PK. Right, as am I. Tell mm -hmm. me, why did you choose to do hip hop over versus not doing? gospel or being a singer or none of that tell me why you chose hip-hop i had a whole little guilt trip about the way that i expressed because of that mm -hmm. i had to get like freed from that because i used to feel so bad about me rapping and me saying and all so i went through the whole little thing and then i had a moment of clarity like you never feel guilty when you talk to marlon when you talk to your brothers or your cousins and you say the same things that you're saying when you're rapping and if, if this is the gift you have and this is how you express genuinely like what's wrong with you doing that over a beat yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come so on. i like immediately got over the whole like worrying about what it was me worrying about what other people would say and um yeah, bro. I just kind of it just happened in a moment. I just had that thought. I had that revelation. It was like, screw it. That's mm -hmm. not what I said. I said the f word. I was like, yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create, and you know what happens, happens, bro. Bro, so. and it's and you are such a wordsman. I wish I can. I it's I be. I won't say jealous, but I'm envious of how <laughs> much. Like when I play a beat for you or something like that, how much notes and everything is literally on your pad. Like you always got some type of words. I'm like, how he something. even think of that? Like but th I, that's like, what I'm telling you. Like yes. I maximize. So even if I'm not in a studio, if I'm at work, bro, I've mm -hmm. got the habit of like, I got a song, voice record, or that bar sounds dope. So I've got mm -hmm. notes that's just four lines. I got notes that's forty lines, and I just. It all and, together. See, that's what I'm saying, mentor. That's I be learning from you. I be I've watched you do that and replicate it because I've shared some of my new music with you. Mm -hmm. I've took a lot of that stuff from you. Where if I got an idea, I gotta get it down. Got I gotta him. get it down like right away. All right, mm -hmm. hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, yeah. boom, y'all. My brother just released. This your first first album, right? First album. First bro. album, man. Like father, like son, and I'm so happy for it. All right, there's so many questions I'm at. The first, first one I'm gonna ask: How'd you feel when finally I got everything cleared, everything's mixed and mastered, I push, uh, publish, it is <laughs> on, on all platforms. How did it feel to know you just had that project out, just like that first day, and then talk about the feedback that you got that you probably didn't expect. See my my body language like I sat back. It was like that's how I felt. It was like, thank God. Every time I think about it, I get that same feeling. Like thank God it's over, bro. Mm -hmm. It was like a hurdle for me to jump over as an artist. Like I'm so glad, bro. I got this done. You 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 saw the whole process of how I went through like changing the name of it. It was Black is Beautiful, Baldwin Project. It went through all these metamorphoses and then. I had got that little feeling. I told you, like, I got to do something for my dad, bro. Like, I don't, I don't talk about my dad enough. Mm -hmm. My music are just in life. Like, 
we talk about them, but we don't ever give them their flowers. Bro, when I was able to interview them, and when we did that interview, and I was like, I'm in the right direction. So it made me redo everything. And then once I clicked, it's so crazy. Like when you start getting in the right direction, how everything fall into place. Then the beat started popping up that I needed. It's just water happened out of thin air. Like we're gonna talk about it later. Just keep yeah, going. It, it, Come was, on. Was just, it was crazy. It was like, man. So when it all happened, I was like, that's what it's supposed to feel like. You know what I mean? Uh, do I? Of course. You you were there when I had my first project. Yeah. Feel that first one is just it's 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 the one that has to happen. Has Once it does, ha but but talk about the feedback though. Like what what's the oh, feedback that you oh. got? Because I I seen that you were you told me you were getting feedback that you didn't think you would get. Yeah, so you know it, there's a saying in church that says a prophet ain't loved in his own home or accepted in his own city or home or whatever. I don't really share my music like that. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't force it. I mean, I promote it, but. I don't force it on my people from where I'm from, right? And so I was still promoting it just generally. And I got a message from this person. And next thing you know, I log on Facebook one day and it's people that I ain't talked to in years. Like, yo, Phil, this album dope, bro. Like, is this you? Like, <laughs> is this know. you? That's my favorite this. question ever. Favorite, is like, this you? <laughs> Who else like, is it? Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like, oh, this is, bro, this is really good. I'm like, but now, like, what we talking about? I'm like, I know, mm -hmm. I know it's good. Mm -hmm. I know what I did to, to get it out. Mm. You know what I'm saying I was there doing the, the, the takes. We'll talk about it later, but. Mm. Like yeah, bro. So the feedback has been great, and I I've been getting continual feedback. So it's teaching me that everybody can make dope music. It's just about getting it heard. Yes, music that's the really part. Good, but you just gotta get it heard. If you can figure out the getting it heard part, everything else will take care of itself. You just gotta not be timid with it. And uh, bro, the feedback's been phenomenal, bro. It's been phenomenal. Bro, you don't understand how excited I am for you because it was like I was taking a front row seat to to all of this happening in real time. Like just watching your process of this album being made, right? Like even sometimes where we yeah. <laughs> even sometimes where we came to the house and there was just sometimes where we just didn't have anything. And we mm -hmm. would just have like conversations leading up to us just encouraging each other like bro we we just mm -hmm. gotta keep at it it's gonna snap and to see you just kind of you i feel like you've always had it but to see you get it like you know when you're in the groove mm -hmm. to see you get in the groove it just meant the world to me and then when i just i because I, I heard the whole album i got it you know i'm mixing master mm -hmm. stuff like that but just to see the love that you was getting back Meant the world to me. I'm a. I was supposed to say this at the end, but I am so proud, bro. Like I am super bro. proud of you, bro. Like hey, I am bro. super hey. proud, man. Like I'm proud of you, dog. Cause like we did it together. I'm proud of us, bro. Cause like I be looking at all these people that make it big, bro. And mm -hmm. it's like, one, they don't do it alone. But mm -hmm. two, it's always a, a connection they have with somebody the whole way yes. that they don't lose. Yes. So, that Kanye joint on Netflix, it was the camera yeah. man, uh -huh. uh -huh. condom, his mom, the groups, the duos. You know what I'm saying? You you watch it. There was always somebody that was there that they stayed like this and they and it to I didn't know it was gonna be you. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We just mm -hmm. was at work, bro. Man, I, I didn't wanna go back and talk about this, man, but I literally met Padge out of a whim. Didn't even because we worked at uh, TPCs. A lot of white people. There. A lot of white. <laughs> so every time you see a brother, <laughs> every time you see a brother, you just like, hey. you you got a double take. They got one. Let me. They What's one, up, you, brother? And you, and you know sure. what? And 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 I love your personality, brother. You just came over, introduce yourself. Like it wasn't even no. It was all love from the get go. You just came. What's up, man? My name. My name Phil. You know what I'm saying? Da 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 da. da, da. To come to find out, this man a musician. And then the rest is history. We ain't got to go back because, you know, yeah, we've told our story. It. But, man, we, we've been at it for a while. So, all right. So let's get into the album, man. I've listened to this album so much. By the way, I think you might be Judy's favorite rapper. Because, listen, like, 
She don't even listen to hip hop, but every time I play you, she be like, "Yeah, I, I kind of like Phil. Phil's great." Like I'm like that. Uh, I would just say say that about my. She'll never say yeah, she, nothing about me. She just be like, "It's okay, Phil. Come on, wow, this is great." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Judy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But let's, let's get, <laughs> hey man, let's get into it though, man. I'm listening to this album. First of all, let's talk about collaborations. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I I've had my hand into it. Um, but just talk about some. You've had you got some talented people on here. Um, yeah, bro. We got Jeez. poetry. We got um. We got book book. I Polly. Um. The uh, Chris Candy, am I saying it right? Chris, Chris Candy, Candy yeah. all these all these ladies, gentlemen, hey, on that killing it, killing yeah. it. Talk about the co- collaborations. Twenty nineteen, I got on an app called Voise. Yes, it's no longer in in um in use, but at that time it was new, and you can go on there and make music. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of one of the first people to get on it, so I was kind of like. One of the first people to start rapping and then man people started finding out about it and it started growing into this big thing like it it morphed and uh man when people started coming off the woodworks i was like getting featured on the page a lot so people were wanting to collab with me and talk to me like how i get featured what you do like what's your sentence blah 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 and you know my my um my character bro i share with anybody i'm an open book i don't care mm-hmm. and uh I just ended up meeting these people, man, and me and Buck, I collabed on some things. We were kind of like in a little um, collective of rappers called like Backpack mm-hmm. Rappers, um, Poetry, me and him just collab. Me and him actually like a duo now. Mm-hmm. We got our own thing. Killing it right now. Kill- man, I love, I love y'all collaborations, man. Hey, man if you haven't cha- checked out their collaborations, just go to, uh, pet, uh, what is it? Pedge official, right? Yeah, Pedge official. Pedge official on Instagram, official. on social media, man. They they going at it. I am under full portrait. Yeah, and uh, Chris Candy, that's my girl, man. That's like my Killed sister, it. bro. I mean, I, I say it so many times online, but if you listen to Above before she gets on it, when mm-hmm. it's just me, and yes. then added her vocal. <laughs> it, was, it was already good. Yeah. Hey Scott, hey Scott. Feel like I can hold you in my hand, staring back at you. It was really good. I mean, I'm so. This is so cool because I get like, because I, 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 I was literally sitting with all this music. It was already good. I'm like, man, this this track crazy. Yeah, and you know you. Nah, I don't feel like this is Mrs. I need something. This is something, Bro, yeah. You sent that to me. I'm I'm just sitting there like God. Oh like my this. God. And 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 I really didn't have to do anything. The way she just kind of like was she didn't do too much into the into the song. She just guided it along. She just put like the like a, a nurturing. Yeah. I don't even know what bro. She, just like she did yeah. the salt bay like she, just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. she did it right where it needed to be seen. Bro. It was so crazy. Yeah, yeah. To this day, I just was like, girl, you you don't even realize how it's my most streamed song right now too. Oh yeah, okay then. And well, does it, if you haven't heard of bruv, just go listen to the album, y'all. If yeah. y'all listen to my voice right now, like father, like son is out on Apple Music, Spotify, Everywhere. wherever you listen Ain't to music. No when we say all streaming platforms, that's what we mean. Whatever you listen to music on, when you be like, I want to listen to music, let me go. It's on now. Page is on there, so go it's listen to it. Man, mm-hmm. but oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, were you done with with uh, just talking about your collab? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. She's just amazing. We love you. We yeah. love you, mother. Love <laughs> um, so boom. I want to get into some of the tracks, right? Mm-hmm. Let's talk about your dad, though. Who is the star of this? Who's the star of this oh. album? My favorite. My favorite because he's in all the interludes, bro. Um, uh, my favorite. One of my favorite ones. He's got. He's mm-hmm. got some good ones. One is like you say. Uh. So what is the most thing that you uh, you kind of see in me that's like you? And he goes, nothing. The first one is, um, what do you see in me the most that reminds you of you? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> 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 but yeah, talk about having him on the album, man, and, and, like I and said, his man, part. We were, we were, I was bouncing on ideas for the album, and then it hit me that, something needed to be put out there 
for people to hear a father. Mm-hmm. People need to hear that. And it was like, okay, I'll do that. And at first I was like, I'm going to use my videos. And I swear I heard it like clear as day, like, no, talk mm-hmm. to your dad. Mm-hmm. I'm going to interview my dad then. And so it just so happened, bro. Like I said, everything starts falling in line. My dad calls me, hey, wait, hey, we, we coming to Jacksonville in the next couple of weeks. And I'm like, okay, look at it falling right in place. So we get there. I said, dad, I want to talk to you for a little bit, man. What do you, you want to talk to me for? Well, just let me interview you, man. Dog, just answer some questions for me. We're going to sit and talk. And so we did it, bro. And I still got more, you know, I got way more stuff that I'm going to use on the next project that's going to be, oh, my Lord. It's mm-hmm. going to be so dope. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, man, my dad don't even know he viral right now. Like, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, does he even know that? It's like, so he... crazy. It's like, <laughs> we want to hear more of Big Jink. Right, right, right. Like, we put a Big Jink yeah, out. Like, yeah. like, y'all, oh, my daddy, did y'all listen to the songs on the interludes? Like, what is going on? Like, did your dad hear it, though? Did he hear it? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he listened to it. It's so funny, dog. It's so funny, bro. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> You don't even know people love his voice right now. <laughs> My mentor had to break it down to me. He was like, bro, your album is giving people what a good dad sounds like. If they've never heard it, bro. they get to hear what it sounds like and they get to feel what it's like to talk to your dad. That's fire. And I was like, dang, I didn't even think about it like that. That's why it's hitting the way it's hitting for everybody. You go through the full spectrum of laughter seriousness who you supposed to be mm-hmm. how you struggle how you get through it loving on your family like the whole spectrum of stuff you know what i mean and yeah man i'm glad i I'm glad i did it because my dad gets to live on this earth forever forever now he's that immortalized I, he's, he's immortalized now herman jenkins will always be on this earth that, and see, like i'm taking me notes. That is, you know what I mean? That, that means a lot to you, man. Well, I'd be laughing because, like, he just, he just, like, thinking he doing an interview. But he don't yeah. even, he don't even know what, he he may have an idea, but he doesn't know how that, that means to you. Like, mm-hmm. to have him live forever, forever, pretty much after you gone, that's still going to be here. You still know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's amazing, bro. brother. And it's so funny because... Later in the interview, he asked me, what you going to use this for? And I started to use that as an intro, but I was like, I'll save it for the next one. It's like, what you going to use this for? You writing a book? And I go, I might. And I had, I cut that clip and I was going to send it to you, but I was like, I'm going to use that as the intro for the next album. For the next one, boy. Yeah. Like, what, you, what, you use, what you using this for? You going to write a book? And I was like, I might. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, man. Is I love it? it. I love it, man. I, I I could talk about that all day, but I'm I'm a I'm a move on. So I want you to talk about your favorites. It's oh, it, I I like I love the whole album. I have my personal favorites. You know, I'm I'm biased. I like our stuff. Mm-hmm. Outside yeah. is a banger. Outside. Water. <laughs> that's that is the icing on cake. Um, but adulting, my lord. Oh. That is a story for every like uh, like everybody our age age group, um, above, and branching. I like the whole album, but that's that's probably, and yeah, I'm gonna just say them three because I I I name all of them. Yeah. It's them crazy. Three. It's crazy because uh, now that I think about it, our sound are the ones that people love the most. <laughs> outside is that one. I've been hearing outside is that one. I know you gassing me because you on here. I'm not I swear. <laughs> you should see my DMs, bro. I screenshot it. Everybody loves outside. <laughs> and everybody loves the hip hop heads. Literally, I just got a comment from my homeboy that is yes. like a real hip hop head, bro. He was like, bro, that is that hip hop feel, bro. He's like, that is pure hip hop. I love water, bro. He's like, you got it. And that one shot me because he a real hip hop head. Like, mm-hmm. go to the concerts, get the VIP passes so he can, like, he is everything hip hop, bro. You see him and you know he one of them dudes, some type of dudes. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was like, bro, water is that real hip hop feel. Like, that is the pure hip hop feel. Like, that was it, bro. And uh, so, yeah. But my favorites, um, mm-hmm. I would say my top one is branching. 
I love that song. Branch is like number one for me because mm-hmm. of where I was when I wrote it. And then two, like just the sound sonically. Feeling I'm out of time, feeling I'm out of space, out of my mind, hard to follow the line. I'm not seeing the signs, maybe I'm dreaming, maybe I'm thinking too much, maybe I'm losing the love, maybe it's like, I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm lost enough. I, I, it's different. like slight harmonics, mm-hmm. ridiculous stacking of vocals. It's, it's almost the same, but it's still different. You give a slight harmonic sound. Um, my expression and dynamics of my voice adding that southern feel and then um, like my cadence switching and usage in that song it's so me Branch is like number one I guess my second favorite would be Replay because it's so emotionally charged like I remember that feeling Um, in 2020 I was hurting I was like hurting bro I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you one more Think of your other song, but we're going to talk about Replay. Yeah. We, you talked about it a little bit on your social media. Mm-hmm. We were in the studio, and I'm going to tell the story, guys. You got I, to. <laughs> I was, and I'm going to be, he, he kind of touched on it a little bit, but we're going to be 100 today. Got to be 100. I was so tired. Mm-hmm. Page came over. Like I said, the songs be good, y'all, but it's not it's not there yet. Mm-hmm. It's not there. And it was just one of those where I was like, bro, I think it's great, bro. I think we should just leave it alone. I think it's out. No, nah, Pez was like, nah, nah, I just, I'm just not feeling it. It's just not, it's just not. He was like, well, you know you. And then, man, we went at it for about, <laughs> we, we, about we, we went did. at it for about 10 minutes. We was I beefing. was like, bro, come on. You don't want to touch it if it's, if it's perfect beefing. already. He's like, no, I just don't feel it. Like, we was going back and forth. We, we went yelling at each beefing. other. Nah, we yeah. was having that brotherly a, talk. A, like, bro, a brotherly disagreement. Like, come on, bro. Like, is it good? Like, it's good. Like, and then he was like, look, just put, just trust me. Just trust me. It was like you was telling me because I trust me. He pushed record, and that's how it, when you hear him say it, what'd you say at the beginning of your uh, plan? When, you you gotta when you, when you feel it, you just know. Yeah, you just gotta trust it, bro. What you feel it, it it's not lying to you. It's in your when it's in your soul, you feel it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was He's like, like you when you feel it, it you just gotta trust it, bro. The song was great already. And it's in, and then it's, it's important what you're saying. Talk about what replay it means, though. We said we was working at TPC. It's the mon- we were the minority there, so yes. I was working in an environment like black people were being killed. It was being televised. I could see it. It was affecting me deeply. I would go to work and be around all these people that weren't even affected. Mm-hmm. Wow, what was happening? And then you have the occasional people that try to sympathize with you to say, hey, man, we see it's kind of bothering you. But like, it was just crazy for me to see this man scream for his mama. And then you go to work and muff- just, I'm sorry, can I? I'm- go, ahead, we- go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go <laughs> ahead. Yeah, yeah. We're going we gonna to clean up and post. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you go to work and like, people just don't, I don't want to say don't care, but it's just like they don't they don't care. Mm-hmm. And it was just like I'm I'm sitting on my golf cart and I literally say I'm thinking about everything that I write and I'm like, what is the point of being conscious, bro? I'm literally thinking that in my head, like, what's the point of being conscious? Like, nobody cares. Cause then I'm like, I'm dealing with this side of the fence that don't look like me, that don't care. Mm-hmm. I got this side of the fence that are so numb to it. Are they just so tired of it? They don't even want to talk about it or want to hear it. And so I'm just like, what's the point of being conscious? I don't know. I'm starting to feel like that com- good kid, mad city, good kid, mad city, trying, city trying not to get murked. Like I'm, this is literally how I'm feeling. It, and um, man, like when I wrote it, I literally wrote it on my golf cart, and it just flowed. And we, and I mean, that's what I was talking about, like throwing stuff for the city girls. That was back when they were popping. It was just like the whole progression of maneuvering in a world where people don't care, but you do, right. you know. And uh, it was important for me to reaffirm in myself that I am proud of who I am. 
coach. Replay wasn't so much about it's an entendre because it was the replay of seeing those police shootings that was messing with me. That's what really the replay is about. Like you replaying these images that's messing with you, but the, also the replay is that you gotta reaffirm in your mind who you are and you're proud of. Oh my I, goodness. I wanted that feeling to hit, and so it hit. When we did that, I was just like, I gotta just leave it all there. So that's why at the end, when you hear me breathing hard, I really was tired. Bro. <laughs> I gave and, it, I was in this game. I think, man, y'all yeah. gotta listen to that song. Go listen to replay it. If you don't listen to, well, listen to the whole album, but listen to replay it. Because I think at that time, even now, it is still necessary to hear. It's still, necessary. It's still it is, relevant. It is still relevant and necessary to hear. The reason why I like collaborating with you because you are artists of substance. You're just not talking about anything. Mm -hmm. It ain't like you ain't talk about being the, well, there's times where you could talk about being the flash as big as the baddest, mm -hmm. whatever, but you were always talking about something. Something. It's gotta you were, be about you something. were always talking about something. You I really owe that to my little. mama too, man. She made sure. Talk like, about your mama, man. Shout yeah. out mama. Yeah, my mama is the musician in the family. She got the music education major. So, I mean, like I said before, we was listening to everything. Earth, Wind & Fire, Stevie Wonder. Simon and Garfunkel, James Cleveland, everybody. I listened to everybody. Classical music, Hondell CDs was in the... I listened to everything. So my mom used to always talk to me about how the music of her time, they were talking about some. So those conversations always registered with me. Mm -hmm. And then when you think about it, like that's why that time was so powerful because the music that they were marching to mm -hmm. means put out during that time. So I learned that every time in america especially for people of color has a sound yes and i want my sound to be for us yes now. you know yes. what i mean so yes. my mom's instrumental in that for sure brother i want to talk about one uh track in particular i'm in the car listening to native son Ooh. but is oh. that something that actually <laughs> happened because i remember you talking that's, about that's that was, that's my top three is between water and native mm -hmm. sun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk about native sun. To kind of give backdrop, I grew up in Orangeburg, South Carolina. If you're from the state of South Carolina, you know the berg is the berg. Mm. My dad taught in District 4. So even though we lived on the drive in the hood, I was able to go to school in another district. And um, he switched districts on me and moved to a whole other town where he was teaching. So I had to come back and go to school with kids from my hood. And really, and I wasn't really playing with kids from my hood like that at the time. So I had to learn everybody. They near had to fight everybody mm. at a young age too. Oh, man. you was you was throwing hands. I mean, bro, little kids is treacherous, bro. <laughs> Especially, yo, <laughs> I had to straighten out my pants. Bro. <laughs> little kids is treacherous, bro. Especially from the hood, boy. <laughs> they treacherous, dog. Oh my yo. god. Yeah, man. So they would try me, dog, just because they didn't know me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up finding one of my best friends through that time, which was the dude I was rapping about, my boy Mel. Mm -hmm. And um, that's kind of what I transitioned into talking about. You know, am I black enough? Do you feel my pain? Am I tough enough? Can you sense the ghetto in my name and where I'm coming from? Am I black enough? Do you feel my pain? Am I tough enough? Can you sense the ghetto in my name and where I'm coming from? Mama saw my shirt got stained, asked me where it's from. Death before I call out the name on where I'm running from. Only way to be a real stepper. Heard another Mama saw my shirt got stained, asked me where it's from. Mm. Like, I, I got, I came back from home and I had, like, my mom was asking me, like, why you look like that? I'm not about to be like, because these kids tried to... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not about to say that. And then he's, you know, like, only way to be a real step or hurt another. I love my friends from the hood, but I'm not a killer. Like, I didn't want to be violent, but I had to show something to keep them off my back. And it was just like talking about those things, bro. And then going into the progression, like when I went away from Orangeburg and got away, I was like, I didn't want to come back. But then now my best friend that helped me get through that tough time, one of the best people that maneuvering through the hood and knowing how to know people, knowing how to handle yourself, conduct yourself, how to talk. 
this how to stay out the way how to do what you like that was that was my guy for him to die in the hood that we you know that i learned all those lessons in with him like it was hurtful bro same thing i was saying bro like funeral his mom crying and i did everything i'm supposed to do like that was that was real yeah bro it it, it hits hard when you stop and listen to it and, and, and yeah and and digest it and native not just that track this whole track like all every song is like that it, yeah. it may not be as deep there's different flavors there's different flavors different feels but everything has substance so y'all gotta go listen to like father like son this Please. is one of the last questions i'm gonna ask because we're, we're running out of time i'm i'm gonna ask you this man when people listen to like father like son what do you want them to take away from it i just want them to feel a hug i want them to get a hug and they soul they never got before mm. that that was something that i wrote down i wish i would have brought that book so you can see the notes i wrote literally wrote down what do i want people to feel after they listen to like father like son and i was like i want them to feel love i want them their soul to feel a, a hug that they're seen they're heard and they're felt mm -hmm. like i want that's what i want mm -hmm. i want you to feel like you're seen like i see you existing out here i see what you go through you heard i hear you i hear your heart i hear your soul i hear the stuff that you're trying to survive and that you're felt like i know how you feel and it don't feel good, but it's going to be all right. We're going to be good. You know what I mean? It's going to get better. Like, that's that's what I want the, the people to get, which I know they do. Because that's the response I've been getting. I was intentional about it when I started. So, you know. Yes, sir. Man. Oh. Yeah, bro. That time, that, that time went by so fast. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, brother, I've enjoyed this conversation with you. And let me tell you, I'm going to tell you again. I am so happy for you, man. I'm so happy for you, brother, and I'm so glad you let me be a part of the ride. This is only, and, and this is what I want to say before we leave, this is only his first one. We got more music in the chamber, like uh, just me uh, and Pants I'm together. Just me it. and Pants together Love got me. music in the chamber. So the streets look out, everybody look out. Please. Man, but look, man. I want to tell you congratulations, like yeah. father, like son, out on every, all streaming platforms. Ladies awesome. and gentlemen, Mr. Yeah, no. Patch. Yeah, baby. <laughs> in there. All right, we brother. Love you, bro. <laughs> you take care, man. You, Anything you want to say to the people before we go? Hey, man, follow my brother Marlon. I'm proud of him. He got great music coming out. His last uh, two-song EP he put out was crazy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like this was a long progression of get him to let him be him and, and that's like, a whole nother conversation he is snapping it, out here now bro. I specifically told him when you rap rap like that and he's been doing it so I'm happy <laughs> yes sir proud of us bro Straight I'm up. proud of us man alright this has been another episode of Marlon Meets we'll see you next week Next week or whatever week or whatever day. Come on! Right. <laughs> Come outside. Lyrical spar, you toe to toe with the lyrical god. The right hook across you in your face. Land the east like you praying to a lot. They want it fast. I made the app meditators. Ramadan, Godson, nah, nah, nah. The one the father got his hands on. Be in the street, but it don't mean the same thing when I stand up and say the solid rock that I stand on.